Well, I would just like to welcome all our viewers today um, and just say a big hello. I'm Katrina Moss and I've uh, got the privilege today of speaking to uh, Sam O'Donnell about a new community project which Sputnik patrons are helping to fund. So first of all, huge welcome, Sam. It's lovely to speak to you today. And I just thought it would be good if you could just introduce introduce yourself to viewers. Yes, yeah, hi, I'm, I'm Sam O'Donnell. Um, I live up in Glasgow in Scotland. Um, I've been here for about uh, 10 years now, um, though I'm from Manchester originally, if uh, my accent didn't give that away. Um, so I moved here to study at the Glasgow School of Art um, about 10 years ago. So I did a fine art degree at the Glasgow School of Art. Um, so I'm an artist. Um, I'm a painter specifically. Um, that's what I make. Um, but I'm also on staff here at um, a city centre church called Adelaide Place Baptist Church here in the city centre of Glasgow. Um, I'm the worship and creative arts um, leader. Um, so I do that part time. So I paint part time and I, and I work for the church part time. I've re relatively recently started um, a YouTube channel with a friend. Um, we collaborate on making um, films about painting. Um, and How the channel's exciting. called Painting. Yeah, yeah. So we make kind of video essays about 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 looking critically at painting. So yeah. So tell us, Sam, a bit more about the project that Sputnik are funding for you. Yeah. So as as if all the those things that I do aren't enough. Um, I'm also going to be launching a new gallery space um, in Glasgow City Centre. Um, so it's going to be here in the church building. Um, it's going to be called A Place Gallery, which, which refers to the name Adelaide Place Baptist Church, but um, it's kind of its own kind of uh, little thing as well. So basically there's a room in the church building. Um, and so Sputnik is helping uh, just with the, the launch exhibition, the first exhibition of the gallery. Um, it's going to be from the 15th to the 29th of September. Um, it's coinciding with um, Glasgow Doors Open Days Festival. So the church is going to be open for a festival that happens in the city where lots of buildings and, and community places are open to the public for people to come and explore. Um, and so the exhibition um, has about 15 painters in it. Um, they're all painters who are either based in Scotland or who have significant ties to Glasgow. Um, people that I've kind of known about in my kind of network. And so it's an exhibition. Um, yeah, a, a painting exhibition. And so that's what Spoknik is helping out with. How exciting. And um, the 15 artists that are taking place, uh, are taking part in the exhibition, are they all artists of uh, that share your faith or come from a different faith background or have no faith at all? H how is this space going to work? Yeah, so the um, all the artists, um, unless they've kind of got sort of personal beliefs and things that I don't know about, um, yeah, they're not people from the church that I'm aware of, certainly not our church. Um, so they're all people who are practicing artists, professional artists um, of varying degrees. And um, yeah, so the, uh, people from all walks of, of life, some of faith, some of none, perhaps. Uh, are the exhibitions based around a theme or how are you, you know, because it's quite a big undertaking curating a new gallery space. How are you um, looking to organise this? And also, what was the catalyst behind the idea in the first place? There's no particular theme per exhibition. Um, I'm, I'm, this first exhibition is going to be a group exhibition, just to kind of get more people into the room and kind of put the gallery on the map a little bit more. The idea is to uh, do solo shows in the future with some of the artists that I've already kind of begun to talk to, to see if they'd be interested in showing. Um, so we'll see what themes and things like that emerge from their work as time goes on. Um, but yeah, the the um, impetus, I suppose, behind the galleries is, 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 well, it's been a long road to get here. It's, it's an idea that I've had for, for many years now, maybe six or seven years. Um, and it's kind of coincided a little bit with what's been going on here at our church as well. Um, we've recently completed um, some renovation works to our church building, which again is something that's been in, in the pipeline for a long time and um, COVID and chaos in the construction industry and things like that put delays as well. But Basically, um, yeah, we have this room that's that's off to the side of the church building, so it's not a kind of liturgical space or a worship space per se. It's a room that has been fitted out to work as a gallery. I'm sure many artists, um, not long after graduation, you know, I experienced kind of a few opportunities. Um, and so when things finally did come around, when maybe there was a group ex exhibition that I could be part of, or maybe a show 
um it, it really means a lot it really means a lot when as an artist you get involved um to, for to be approached to be for someone to take an interest in your work and so i felt that really the church has an opportunity to do that to offer um as something that's generous to artists to take an interest in the work on their terms um and to do that with a gallery space that would also be um that would be professional that will um make sense in the kind of contemporary art environment that the people um the, the artist community in glasgow would, would kind of understand and appreciate um and so to do that kind of generously um so that was the real kind of yeah the, the catalyst or the spark of the idea i suppose was was to offer that generosity back to artists and to give them opportunities to approach artists whose work um that i've liked for a long time and to say we have a space um would you like a show everybody that i've spoken to about it it's so um honored and privileged and thrilled to be included to be involved and so it's yeah it's it's been a really meaningful process to um to begin to put um, this exhibition and this gallery together I know from talking to artists myself that that's one of the hardest things, you know, people say, you know, how do you get uh, connections going with gallery space? Because it's just so hard for artists to actually get their work seen by a wider audience. So I just think it's it's absolutely fabulous what you're doing. And I wondered how the um, church felt when you first maybe approached them about taking this space that they'd got and actually turning it into a permanent gallery. I, I'm, I'm incredibly lucky and privileged to be, I guess, in a church that that already values uh, creativity um, and and appreciates um, what creatives bring. Um, I also have the advantage, I suppose, I've now been part of this um, church community for about 10 years now, and I've been on staff for maybe about seven of those years as well, as the worship, uh, my role has always been in worship and creative arts. So the church has already always had a kind of investment i suppose in 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 that aspect um it's always been really positive um the, the church here the story of the church here is is to have had um uh, various things going on in its building down the years they've um set up uh, a nursery there's been a guest house um a cafe you know lots of things uh, so there's been quite a, an entrepreneurial spirit and and a creative and quite spirit outward looking um, and quite outward looking yeah. as yeah and, and and always with a vision to want to seek to bless the city that we're a part of. And so what, because I was looking at um, your particular website and looking at your work and and you do a mix of different styles. And I particularly liked your abstract works. I'm very into abstract at the moment. So I really enjoyed looking at those. What inspires your own personal creativity? It may be sound strange to frame it this way, but I think for me, one of the most important things um, that inspires what I do is is in a sense to to make a commitment to make a decision and, and follow it through so um when I when I was studying I, I felt like I had to make a decision to become a painter I mean depending on and kind of which circles you move in and which artists you're familiar with and maybe even which institution you go to um you know it can be hard I think in today's day and age there's there are so many ways in which you can be an artist there are so many mediums that you can work with and so to make a decision to stick to one medium and to kind of go the long distance in that in that way is is it's quite a decision to make in many ways. And so for me, that that's then what inspires the kind of the creative field that I'm in. Um, I, I kind of I suppose I know what I'm I'm there to do, even when I'm not quite feeling it or if I don't have any ideas, um, I know what I'm committed to. And I think that that helps me a lot. Um, to be to to kind of go the long distance in that, um, and I was thinking about it in 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 terms of um, in terms of my 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 Christian faith as well. Um, in many ways, uh, to make a commitment in faith is to make a decision, um, and to to make a lifelong kind of step in that direction. And so for me, the kind of two things quite go hand in hand um, as well. And uh, I noticed earlier you said you're uh, responsible or uh, lead the worship in um, Adelaide Place. Do you feel there's um, a, a, a strong connection between worship and creativity? Uh, yeah, I've I've been on an interesting journey. I think with um, with regards to to um, worship and to think about how these things um, tie together as well, and how um, creativity helps um, the church. Um, 
to express itself in worship as well. Um, obviously, it, immediately, I think for many people, they will think about music and that, and I think it definitely incorporates that. Um, for ourselves here at Adelaide Place, we've we've you know been on a recent journey as well in terms of exploring more of the kind of um, ancient traditions um, and liturgical traditions, uh, following the Christian calendar, things like that, which in many ways give a, a an opening, I suppose, to um, to some of the other um, creative forms of worship and and even just um, simple things like our our approach to reading um, the Bible in the worship service or um, you know uh, poetry uh, the way the sermons constructed all these kind of questions come out of that so it's been it's been a, a, a kind of multifaceted um, journey for me in that sense in in figuring out um, how creativity informs our worship as well. Mm. Well, just before we finish, just give a, a plug once again for when the exhibition is on and where it's on and how people can um, find all the details. Yeah, um, so the exhibition, um, the, the title of the exhibition is Opening, um, quite fittingly. Um, it's on from the 15th to the 29th of September um, in Glasgow. And uh, the, the, the the private view, the opening view um, in the evening, evening is on the 15th Friday the 15th um, from 6 to 9 p.m if anyone happens to be in Glasgow um, and yeah the, the the gallery website um, is a place dot gallery excellent well um, I just want to say a huge thank you uh, to Sam for his time and for this really exciting initiative that he is bringing together to just give opportunities to artists and if you would like to support uh, more artists like Samuel, why not think about becoming uh, a patron of Sputnik? And there will be details on the link below. So just thanks once again to Sam. And uh, I encourage all the artists that are listening to, if they're in that area, to get along and see the exhibition and just to be inspired in their own creativity. So bye-bye, everyone. Thank you, Mike.